welcome back. So today I'm doing a Stitch Fix unboxing video to start off this week. And I know boxes are taking a little bit longer to get to everybody, so hopefully you guys have gotten your boxes by now. If you are new here and you haven't heard of Stitch Fix, I always leave lots of information in my description box below along with a $25 offer for real code if you are wanting to try out Stitch Fix. And then definitely give me the thumbs up button if you are liking the video. It really helps me get further here on YouTube. If you are brand new to this channel, welcome. I upload every Monday and Friday and I do a lot of fashion, makeup, and lifestyle content. So if you really like that kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe. I've never been more excited to go to the hair salon than I am right now. Nothing's open yet, but I desperately need to get my hair dyed. Root situation is pretty awful. This is what our box looks like this round. And it looks like we might have a pair of shoes. For these videos, I always like to do the prices at the end of the video um, and then the note from our stylist. So I will put that over there. Here's my shipping label if I want to return anything. You know what? I'm going to start with the shoes. Pretty sure these are shoes. That is such a cute color. Really nice padding inside the shoe. It's got the ankle strap, which I love that look. And the heel is not too big for me. So yeah, and I love the pointed toe. The Market and Spruce Madison Suede Ankle Strap Heel in the shade pink, size 10. Pleasantly surprised with these. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. This top is from Mac Studio. This is the Giselle Smocked Blouse in red size medium. I have been loving the smocked tops and I did ask my stylist to look for something like that. This is so cute. I am really excited to try this on. And what's nice about this is that I can pretty much wear any type of pants with this. Like, it would be really nice if I could find, like, a pair of white high-waisted pants to go with this. So much I can do with that. Color. Let's see, this is the 41 Hawthorne Ellie Mix Material Blouse, shade mint, and it's a size medium. Wow, this feels really nice. Love it. it. Does have a little keyhole in the back. There's like this little pleated style in the front. It's gonna be a nice loose fit, so that's really nice. Love that too. A mini skirt it has a little bow in the front and then it's like a really small floral pattern and actually this would go really well with what I'm wearing right now um oh it's from Madewell so we've got the tie waist mini skirt off white size large I love the cream color and then there's a lot of blue and white and yellow red flowers throughout it it does have elastic in the back so it's gonna be really easy to get into adorable I love it it does have pleats in the front. It's very subtle. And then it has a ruffled hem. I love how the skirt is flared out. I already have all these ideas on how I want to wear all this stuff. And the material feels pretty light. It's almost like, I don't know, it almost feels like linen and cotton. 
Let's see what. Oh, so this is the Mac Studio Marianne Tiered Linen Maxi Dress in the shade gray size large. And this one has three tiers on it. It comes with a waist tie. The buttons are only on the top portion of the dress. So that'll make it nice and easy to get in and out of. The back is just very simple. So, oh, I cannot wait to wear this. Great, I'm pretty much liking everything that I got in this box. showed you everything in the box. I'm gonna go try everything on so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I will meet you back here to discuss the prices. To start off with this red top, I just tucked it into the front of my high-waisted jeans. There is a little bit of overlap with the material, so I'd have to figure out how to wear this um, tucked in, but I love the look. I am really into this vibe right now. These can be off the shoulder too. I love that look. It's so cute, very, very girly. Love it. I love the sleeves on this. And yeah, um, I'm pretty much sold on this. Get this one for sure. You know what? Let me go for untucked. I think untucked might be better. I don't know. You have to let me know which way you like it. I like both, kind of, but I think I like the tucked in better. So at first I was afraid it wasn't going to fit right, but I love how fitted it is um, because I can get away with wearing it off the shoulder and I won't have any trouble, you know, with any slippy, slidey stuff. The square necked smocked tops are my favorite thing right now. And I love how this one looks. I love the color, even though it's not the pastel that I'm looking for, I still really like this red color. As far as styling this, I kept it pretty simple. I just um, went for my black high-waisted mom jeans and then the nude heels. I love how there's ruffles around the neckline too. So the square neck is continued in the back. I love that. So simple and girly. I love how the sleeves look too. It's just, I feel like Red Riding Hood or something. And I like how the smocked material is both in the front and the back. And there is elastic around the sleeves. Makes it so that you can move your arms really easily. Very, very comfortable. I am going to have such a hard time saying no to this one. I just have a feeling it's gonna be really expensive. But how can you say no? It's so cute. And this is actually um, a white t-shirt that I purchased from Madewell, and it goes perfectly with this skirt. I can get that high-waisted look that I love. It's so comfortable too. Man, everything, I'm just really surprised so far how much I like it. Once I see something, it's one thing, but when I actually try it on and I like it, that's another level for me. The material is really good. I love this floral pattern too. It's so in right now. Please don't be expensive because I really like you. I feel like it's been a while that I've been this excited about something in a Stitch Fix box and I really like this a lot. I love how the back of this skirt has elastic, so it just adjusts your figure really well. This is a really nice skirt to have for us curvy girls. I really, really like how this comes with a bow in the front too, because you can actually adjust it and make it tighter if you feel like it's kind of falling down on you in the front. But yeah, this is so cute. I am going to have a really hard time saying no to this one. So I love this look too. Man, I really like everything that I got in this box. Um, I don't see how it could be super expensive because the material is, I don't know, it's like, it's not amazing quality. I love how there's a tie around the waist because if this waist tie wasn't here, I would not like this at all because my figure just would not look good in this. The pinstripes, I am liking more and more. Um, I didn't realize how much I like them and how much they fit into my style, but they really do. I really, really like how the tear just kind of goes down and kind of follows the hip line. Because if it were higher and it poofed out, that would not be flattering on me. But this is literally made for me. It fits me perfectly. I love how there's like a pop of color with these shoes. These straps are really thin and delicate, so I'm gonna have to be really careful with that, but I love the height of the heel. I love the pointed toe. I think it just, it looks really cute with this dress. I think something that would be really cute would be to wear a straw hat with this. I think I mentioned that earlier, but I just wanna get you a better view of the back. I love the neckline on this too. It's very simple, very comfortable, and very flattering. You'll have to let me know what you think of this dress 
I actually really, really like it. A lot more than I was thinking. I just think it just sits on me really well. I think the pinstripe on this gives it a, a really vintage style. So for this top, I went for a pretty simple look. I just went for these black high-waisted mom jeans and then um, the nude heels that I'm wearing with everything now. But I like this. I like how simple it is. I think it's something that I could reach for and take out of the closet really easily and style it on the go and fast. I love the color of this shirt. It's very springy. And I thought there was going to be an issue with this showing my bra lines, but this doesn't show them at all. So I'm really happy about that. There's nothing unflattering for me about this shirt. I am pleasantly surprised at how well this lays on me. I was not thinking that it would fit this well. Um, the material is very lightweight and I love the look of this outfit. It's very simple. So in the front, there's no stretch. In the back of the shirt, it's very stretchy. So it's a different material in the back, which is really nice because it's easy to slip on and off and yeah, I really like it. This is kind of hard to button on your own, but other than that, it's a nice shirt. There is a little bit of wrinkle in the material in the front. I don't know if you can see that. Definitely let me know what you think of this top and tell me some different ideas on how you would style this. Now it is time to look at our prices. Um, so here, note from our stylist. I'm sorry to see that the last fix was not quite what you were looking for, but I have taken note of your feedback and will keep looking for the perfect pieces for you. I'm so excited for you to try on the amazing spring pieces inside today. So I started with this breezy max studio dress with a touch of boho and the perfect color palette for the spring. Style this with the market spruce heels for a pop of color. This max studio blouse has the smocked square neck and puff sleeves that you will enjoy. I hope that you enjoy trying on these fresh and sunny hues and I look forward to seeing your feedback. I think this box is pretty close to one of my favorite boxes. The Madewell Tie Mini Waist Skirt, size large is $84. I knew it was gonna be expensive, it is Madewell, and the material is really good. $84 is still kind of expensive for me. I don't know, I really liked this. I wish I could get it, but I don't think I can swing that. The Madison suede ankle strap heels in pink, size 10. These were $80. These are cheaper than the skirt. Wow. Um, I really like these. I don't know if I'm gonna get these yet. I'm kind of tempted to. I really do like how these look, and these would be so much fun to wear on a date, but I don't know if I should spend money on them right now. I don't know. I'll tell you later. 41 Hawthorne Alley Mix Material Blouse in mint, size medium, and this is $58. So I will say that this material feels really nice, and I have gotten 41 Hawthorne in the past. Their material is just high quality. It's very good. Man, if I... I kind of want this to be the box that I get everything and get that discount, but out of everything that I got in this box, I feel like this is the least item that I like, which is crazy because I love this color. I don't know. Okay, because I'm kind of wanting the skirt now, <laughs> but I'm not spending $84 on a skirt. Unless I end up getting the whole box, I don't think I'm gonna get this. $58 is pretty reasonable though, especially for the brand 41 Hawthorne. They're pretty expensive. Giselle smocked blouse in red, and this is $64. This is from Max Studio. Okay, so that is a bit pricey for a shirt, but uh, are you kidding me? I would wear this $64 worth amount of times. I am definitely getting this, and I haven't gotten anything from Citrix in a while, so I'm gonna get it. And then we have the Max Studio Marion tiered linen maxi dress in gray size large. This is $78. I, I do think that $78 is pretty reasonable for a dress like this. It is pretty good quality and the fabric is nice. Um, I don't think it's um, the most amazing quality. I think it could be better, especially for that price. Unless I decide to get everything in the box, I wouldn't purchase this. That's everything in the box. I had so much fun styling these. I really liked everything. Um, so the stylist pick subtotal was $364. The 25% discount would be $91, so the order subtotal would be $273. That is really expensive. Um, I feel like most of my boxes have kind of been around that price range though, but I love exploring. I definitely don't want to bring down my prices because I really think that I'm getting a chance to explore different brands. So yeah, I'm going to keep my price range the same. I think the quality that I'm getting is really good. I'm enjoying trying out different styles and stuff. So definitely $273, 
I would not pay that for all this stuff. I think Madewell is, the quality is really good, but I, I still don't think that I should be paying $84 for a skirt like that. Otherwise, I think everything was pretty reasonable for the most part. So yeah, I think this box is right up there with one of my favorites. Rachel did an amazing job with styling this and she listened to what I asked. She definitely um, took my feedback into consideration. I'm really pleasantly surprised at this box. I will admit I kind of had my doubts about this one because it's been the last few boxes that I feel like haven't really been my style but since I have been leaving feedback I think that's really been helping. So you guys are gonna have to let me know how you felt about this one and if you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you liked everything that my stylist chose. I will leave everything linked in the description box in case you guys want to request some of these. Hopefully this gave you some inspiration. Hopefully it was relaxing for you and I will see you very soon in another unboxing video. Bye.